Hi, this is Andrea Suchuk, and this is the introductory training to Adobe Analytics. You will get to know how to navigate across different capabilities, components, and tools, and where to look for support when you have a question. Depending on your account configuration, you may either land to the Workspace homepage, which we see on the screen now, or on the Reports homepage after signing in to Adobe Analytics. If you want to switch to the reports capability, click on the link on the top. The next link is called components and here you can find uh, the components you have access to. For example, segments, this is the place where you can find all the segments you created. You can tag the segments, rename or delete the segments. You can share them with other users or user groups. The same is true for calculated metrics and date ranges and projects. Projects here stands for workspace projects. You can also schedule the projects to be delivered to your colleagues. If you schedule the projects, you can find them on this page following the scheduled projects link. Virtual report suites. This is when you want to create a new report suite based on the existing one by applying a segment. And this will be a subset of the data. And there are some other options I won't cover in this training. Tools. Ad hoc analysis. This is an advanced tool and I would say that the workspace is a new generation, if I can say that, for ad hoc analysis. But anyway, ad hoc analysis still has its own benefits and analysts keep using it. Data workbench, usually used by big organizations, and this is where you can work with attribution, this is where you can uh, upload and work with offline data. So this is for omnichannel analytics. Data warehouse, this is a great place if you want to export the data and this doesn't have limitations like you may face with in the reports and workspace capabilities. So just remember if you need to export process data uh, this is the right place to go to. Click map and activity map are browser add-ons. If you want to open a page and see how many visitors clicked a specific link on that page or how that uh, traffic affected your KPIs, try to use them. Report Builder. This is an add-on for Microsoft Excel and it uh, allows you to query Adobe Analytics and this doesn't require you to always export CSV files and then process them in the spreadsheets. On opposite of that, you just create a query and then every time when you need to refresh your uh, data, you just click one button and all the data becomes up to date. Very convenient for those who like working in Microsoft Excel. Search and promote as well as recommendations classic are referring to Adobe Target Solution and I will not cover this now. Admin for administrators. If you are not an administrator, you may not have this menu, but if you are an administrator, then a few words about what you can see here. Report suites. This is the place where you can manage the existing report suites and add new report suites. User management is the place where you can manage access to Adobe Analytics if you use classifications and uh, want to apply new classifications, update the classifications, these two items are for you. Data connectors. Uh, this is, uh, allows you to use integrations with third-party platforms. And next one is data feeds. You may want to use this if you want to export raw data from analytics for example, for big data. Data sources allows you to upload offline data to analytics. Dynamic tag management is a tag management solution. Uh, now there is already a new version, Adobe Launch, but it's not listed in this menu. Tag management is an obsolete tag management solution. Code manager is the place where you can find analytics tracking libraries and SDKs. Um, I will not cover other items in this list and want to pay your attention to, if you want to go to other solutions, 
go to this icon with nine dots and this will open a mega menu and all the solutions you have access to will be shown here and you also can find their uh, core services on the right. Now a few words about how you can get support. If you click on this question mark icon you will be able to look for something you are interested in. For example let's say you are working with the visits metric and you may not know how this metric is defined. So in this case type in the keywords in this search box and hit enter and you will be redirected to the help section. Basically this is the search result page and you can easily recognize what you are interested in. If I click this link I will get definitions of what I was looking for. So now I will go back and a few words about other links. Help home is referring to the help home section. Customer care gives you information about how you can contact customer care, phone numbers, email addresses. If you are a supported user then you will see all tickets and you will also be able to open a new ticket. Community is a link to Adobe forums and there you can ask questions and get answers from other users of Adobe Analytics and Experience Cloud solutions. Developer connection is referring to API documentation and welcome to Adobe Analytics. This is a link to a wizard that helps new users create report suites. This is it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you and now you understand where to look for components, tools and capabilities and how to get self-support. Thank you for watching.